Have you ever wondered how pro Fortnite players consistently perform well in every tournament? Well today I'll be showing you one key factor that has contributed to these pros success. And this one key factor is boosting your FPS while minimizing delay endgame so that your game is completely smooth. Many of the top tier 1 Fortnite pros who actually consistently play well have PC tweakers that professionally tweak their PC. But today I'm going to be giving you a guide that is free and it will boost your FPS guaranteed. So make sure you watch the whole video so you don't miss out on any secret FPS secrets. Alright, let's get into the video. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to give you guys is a specific power plan that already has loaded settings and all you have to do is download it. So what you first want to do is go in the description and look for the Google Drive link and click on that. And then you'll be present with this Google Drive and you want to go to the power plan and then you want to right click on it and click download. And then once you download the power plan zip, all you want to do is right click on it and click extract here. So once the power plan file is on your desktop, what you're going to do is just click on it. And then if you click on it again, you'll just see what's inside. It's just a power plan um, file. It has all the loaded settings on it. So you just want to go back and you want to scroll down on the left and you actually want to import this file to your C or D drive. It just depends on whichever one you want. I did it to my D drive personally and you want to click copy and I already have it in my D drive. So I'll just replace it. Might as well um, I already have it, but it won't say that for you. And then you want to load up command prop in administrator so make sure you right click on it and click run as administrator all right and once the command prompt is up you're just going to have to type a little bit of code which you want to do is type power cfg space dash import and then whichever drive you used i use my d drive so i'm going to use d and i'm going to put the colon so the file is power plan for me so i'm going to do slash power plan and then you want to do slash core.pow that's what the file it was inside of the folder so this is what it's going to look like for me so you use your drive whatever the folder name was and then core.pow core.pow will stay the same for everyone but it's whatever your folder was named mine was named power plan then you want to click enter and then it will say imported power scheme successfully and there you go and now what you want to do is go to your search and search up power plan and then you want to click choose a power plan and then once you're here you want to click core v airs that is the power plan you just downloaded and there you go that is a fully set up power plan that you don't have to do anything all you have to do is download it and now it runs all the way for you and now your pc is fully optimized with the power plan i also do want to credit the person that i got from it was a special tech youtuber who actually specializes in pc tweaks so i'll link them down below as well now for the next step what you want to do is go to google and search up beta nvidia app in the search bar Then once you're here, you want to click on download NVIDIA app for gamers and creators. It is the second one for me. Once you've clicked on that, you'll be prompted with this page and then you want to click on download beta. And then you want to wait for the beta to actually download. Then what you want to do is click on the download. Then once you're prompted with this page that says upgrade to the NVIDIA app, all you want to do is click upgrade. Some people might not get this page, but if you do just click upgrade and then click agree and continue. And then once it says select a preferred driver, I recommend selecting game ready driver for gamers. Next you're going to be brought up with this screen and you actually want to turn off optimized game and creative applications. This is because it's going to affect your FPS because Nvidia automatically is going to set high settings because it thinks your PC is just very good. But we want the most FPS possible so we're going to be using low settings. So you just want to keep that off. Then you want to click next. And then it's up to you if you want to keep the Nvidia overlay. Um, I recommend just keeping it on if you like it, um, but if you want to make sure it doesn't affect your PC performance, turn it off, but I'm going to keep it on. Then you would click next. Next it says redeem exclusive rewards. I don't really care about this, but if you do, just click login to redeem, but for now, I'm going to just click skip to app. So once you're in the home NVIDIA app, what you want to do is go to the top left and click on drivers, and then it's going to ask you if you want to download a new driver that is ready to install, and you just want to download it. By downloading this, just make sure your PC is optimized for the best drivers and this will make your PC run smoother. You always want to have the newest drivers possible downloaded if you actually want to use the NVIDIA app. And then when I ask you if you want to do custom installation or express installation, make sure you choose express installation. So while we're waiting for the install, make sure you subscribe and like this video as it only takes 2 seconds. And I have a lot of secret Fortnite tips that I'm going to be releasing very soon, so make sure you stay up to date with that. So please subscribe and like, thank you very much. Our next question you want to do is look right below drivers and click on graphics. 
and once you click on graphics look towards the top for global settings and click on that and now you want to copy every optimal setting I'm about to give you so let's do this together so first what you want to do is keep dynamic vibrance off keep your GPU defaults but next once we're on DSR factors you actually do want to change this one so you want to click on it then you want to uncheck whatever box is checked so for me it's 4.0 and I'm uncheck it then you want to click apply next you want to keep image scaling off then you want to turn on low latency mode every streamer in fortnite pro mostly uses this so this is the popular decision and i know sometimes it does get a lot of hate but low latency mode is very good and it has been effective with zero delay in fps boost next you just want to copy the rest of my settings i have max frame rate off i have power management mode on prefer maximum performance then i have shader cache size on unlimited i have vertical sync off virtual reality off and these settings will all give you the best FPS possible while minimizing every single delay. Next, you want to go to settings on the left. And then you want to scroll down and check off game filters and photo mode. Make sure it's turned off because we're trying to minimize every single application. Next, we're going to go to notifications at the top. And you want to uncheck both driver updates and available rewards. As I said, we are trying to minimize every single application and pop up so we get the most FPS possible. Alright, so that is the end of the video. Make sure to subscribe and like because I'll be sharing more secret Fortnite tips that you not want to miss in the future. Trust me, it only takes two seconds and you will gain really valuable knowledge by following my channel. Alright, thank you for watching. Have a good day.